Welcome to another contrast painting tutorial on how to paint gene stealers. Yuck! For this tutorial you will of course need your happy little gene stealer and the colours you'll need are contrast black templar, contrast leviathan blue, contrast flesh terrors red, contrast shayish purple, technical, contrast medium, uh, you'll want grey seer, screaming skull, Pallid Witch Flesh and Yeary or Yellow. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is do an all over coat of Leviathan Blue, and this is for all of his hard carapace. So we're just going to use our medium layer brush, we're going to get a good dollop of this on here, and then we're just going to start layering it all over the model. And I always like to start down here on the legs, however, you can start wherever you like. To make your life a little bit easier or more difficult, depending on how you like to paint, you can try to avoid these little, uh, these kind of areas here where you see there's like a softer or there's a gap in the armor. Um, this is for later when we're gonna paint these a different color, but we will go back over those with grace here for any mistakes that we've made. So yeah, just go over and do the whole model like this, trying to avoid any flesh or anything like that, like his foot or his head. So, yeah. Just going to go all over with Leviathan Blue. Once that Leviathan Blue is dry, we now want to go over and cover over anywhere that we've uh, splodged the blue on and places we don't want to be blue. So places like the heel here on his foot uh, and also this little gap here in the carapace. So we take a little bit of thin down grace here from our, from our, with a bit of with a bit of water and we're just going to start applying it back on. Just try to be a little bit careful but if you do splodge on the uh, Nevada and Blue just go back and neaten up with some Nevada and Blue again. Once that Leviathan Blue and the Grey Seer is all dry and you're all happy with how it looks so far we're going to start doing the skin and for this we're going to need to use Contrast Medium and Shaiish Purple. Now it's roughly a four to one mix, four parts contrast medium, one part shayish purple. And you just want to grab a dollop on your brush that you thin down on your palette. And you just want to start applying it to all the places that are going to be flesh colored. So obviously this is the places like the head and the hands. So just start throwing it on there like this. And you don't have to be too neat or worry about the claws and things because the Black Templar will cover it up nicely. We're also going to want to go over things like the uh, gaps in the carriage pace, like that. And we want to go over the feet as well. So just go around and do all of the places that you want to be flesh coloured. Once the skin is dry, we're going to use Black Templar on all of the claws. So it's very simple. Just grab a little bit of Black Templar and just start applying it to the claw all over. We want to use it on things like the, the rending claws here um, and also on his things like his uh, his like fingernails, so the smaller ones on this kind of hand here like this and also on the feet. Once the claws are dry, it's time to do the mouth and the tongue, if he had one. So, on some of the other gene stealers, you have a big long tongue. And so for this, what we're going to do is we're going to use Flesh Terror's Red. So we're just going to take a little bit of it onto our small la layer brush. And then we are just going to place it inside the mouth. like so. And don't worry if you get some on the teeth because we're going to do the teeth separately in a second. Next up, using some thin down screaming skull, we're just going to paint the teeth in. So you just want to take your brush and run it along the teeth, like that. Simple. Let's go over all the teeth, filling them with screaming skull. Next up, we want to do the eyes using Yeary or Yellow. You just want to get a small amount, just a dot, and just very carefully 
paint it over the eye. Like that. With the eyes, the teeth and the mouth done, now it's time to start highlighting. And we're gonna start by highlighting the skin using Pallid Witch Flesh. So taking a little bit that's been thinned down, we just wanna go around the edges of areas like the edges of his hands. So just around here like this, but also on the face. So along the ridges here and any of these kind of outstretched veins like that, you just wanna hit the apex of them and along the, along the face as well, a little bit like that. So the very last thing we wanna do after those skin highlights are dry is to give the whole model a very quick dry brush of Screaming Skull. And now when you dry brush models with Screaming Skull, it just kind of, it has this effect of unifying all of the colors, but also kind of giving it a slightly dirtier, slightly more unified look. So just using a very, very light dry brush, just want to start running the brush over the raised edges of the model. And it just accentuates the highlight that the contrast naturally gives as well as provides a point highlight on your model. And with that dry brush applied, as you can see, the model is now painted and finished, ready for basing. Um, obviously to do however you would wanna do normally. This is a Gene Stealer from the Space Hulk box set. Um, so it comes with a unique base. But um, yeah. So there you go, relatively simple, very quick, and it looks very effective, particularly when you start putting them in amongst a full kind of mess of gene stealers, like so. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll catch you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching.